In this round, here's Charles Big Angry Adams. Absolute chaos last week right here in Texas. Over there on the western tip, El Paso. That's the National Guard being overrun by illegal entrants into this country. We have been told for years now that anyone using the term invasion is a racist or a xenophobe. Uh, Biden took office and immediately stripped down and sold at pennies on the dollar all the resources, all the equipment that was purchased, all the materials purchased to build a border wall and said, well, we don't need it, right? Now he's buying it back at full price, talking about, well, maybe we do need it, and pretending that the issue at the board is a creation of Donald Trump, right? I mean, the Republicans most certainly are to blame somewhat, but this chaos began with Joe Biden saying, oh, there's going to be a moratorium on deportation. Used to be, if you came to this country illegally, you had to come here and you had to obey the law because if you got caught breaking the law, you were going to get sent home. Now people are coming from South America on crime vacations to California. There are people just running over army soldiers because we got an open border and no one gives a damn. And I've heard you say a million times on TV, no one's illegal on stolen land. Damn it, we have to have a border. Resources are being stripped from black communities to divert them to non-citizens, health care given to non-citizens where black Americans are left without. It's insane. And the Republicans, don't get me wrong, they don't want to help anybody, right? They're just using the, the immigrants as a scapegoat. But damn it, it's time to start deporting people that come to this country and break the law. There was a ruling last week that said, oh, illegals can have guns. It's insane. This is insanity, Quanell. What it reminds me of is when Christopher Columbus came to America. Oh, Jesus. And what that video reminded me of is how those criminal crew members of Columbus, because Queen, Fer Queen Ferdinand, I mean, King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella cleaned out the jails and insane asylums to put them on ships to discover a new land. But could you imagine had the Indians enforced those same border laws with your white ancestors? Can you imagine that if the Indians said it used to be when you come to America, like you just said, you had to obey the laws, et cetera? Well, when a white man came here, he didn't obey one law. He broke every one of them. And so those Mexican brothers and sisters right there in El Paso, I believe it was in El Paso, I believe it was in El Paso, I believe, but at the southern border, they were only coming home. Those Mexican brothers and sisters, if they're Mexicans, they were coming home, what Texas, if not Arizona, Mexicans? and California. What if not Let me finish. Texas, Arizona, and California were stole from the Mexicans. So if they're Mexicans, they're coming back home. Now, if they're not Mexicans, that's something else. And it's proof that it's a whole lot more than just Mexicans coming across that border. They're coming from Syria. They're coming from Middle Eastern countries, coming from Asian countries. So, yes, it is a problem. Oh, that's a problem. That, it's a problem, period. Okay. So, but at the same time. I thought you time, just said it wasn't a problem. It's not a problem for those Mexicans coming home. It shouldn't be a problem for them at all. Okay. They're only coming back to, for, to take that and to live what was stole from them. So I have no problem with the Mexican when brothers just coming home. Right. Are you talking about the Mexicans that are descendants of the Castilian Spaniards? Or are you just talking I'm about talking the indigenous about, people? I'm talking about the just people. the indigenous I'm people. I'm talking about the real indigenous Chiapas Indians of okay. Mexico. Because, of course, and they are the original of inhabitants people, of what we of call Mexico. You and I both know now. that Mexico Vespucci so, was so a European you, white man you, that put you, his name on when Mexico. When you go throughout history, but let right? come home. When they you go come throughout home. history, people of all races have been expanding countries and retracting and setting borders and losing borders and having wars. And of course, and I will applaud you, you love to look to yesteryear to make your nonsense argument, but I think this is the furthest you've ever gone back. Uh, what, uh, you know, it's, it, when did Columbus sail the seas? What was it, 16 something? And all the criminal but, settlers came but with it. Anyhow, I, I think you might be thinking and about they Australia. And they raped and robbed, but it's okay. pillaged. Uh, uh, again, you're making stuff up. That's what oh, you do. Oh, they didn't do that when they but, came to America. Well, it did. Uh, they Columbus didn't rape and rob Indian were, women. Most certainly, the conquistadors. And from they Spain didn't kill and, those who wouldn't convert but, to Christianity. Yeah, there was there was a whole lot of violence in South America from Spaniards who you now in your mind see as Mexicans. 
but it's it's okay. Uh, you, but let's talk about it, people that are alive today, people that are committing crimes today, people that are doing things today. This is a nation, America. It was an almost completely unpopulated piece of land way back then in the 1600s. Now it is a nation filled with people of all backgrounds and all ethnicities. And unpopulated. We have, we, we have, we Ain't have, that a white lie? Well. Um, it's not a lie. It was. Uh, they America, told that same lie about the Indians uh, America when they took that whole, land. Well, you're not using it. It was almost it. completely unpopulated. But I don't care because what I care about is present day. And right now, we have a social safety net that is way too small and is abandoning too more, many uh, poor American citizens. We don't have health care for poor American citizens. And I know there are Republicans that will get it, but they don't give a damn about nobody but their own facilitating their own greed with the Bible. But there are Democrats who don't give a, a damn about doing anything but facilitating their own power by importing a whole new way of white white people. Democrats no, that no, created no. that problem at the border. Okay. And it's white Democrats that are benefiting from that problem at I, the border. I, I don't disagree. And it's white Democrats and you know who's getting who pushed, want, who want and, them to keep coming. And do you know who's getting pushed to the back of the bus again? But why? Black but Democrats. Why? Black because Americans. Black people and yet here you are to the Democratic here Party. You are. And black Folks have woke Here up you that are neither party give a damn about black people. the open border, Republican or Democrat. Defending the nonsense. No. You're talking about I'm a black man land that realizes because you, the Democratic Party yeah, or the Republican Party you're can't bed. fix our problems. Look, you realize you're in bed with the Democrats. No. And, and you absolutely mm -mm. are defending the open border. I'm in bed with the independents. Because you care more about power. I've been you a registered more, independent since like 2000. Joe Biden and Barack Obama. And I'm going to tell you something. You care more neither about power party than you do is black do America. black people. And so black folk being aligned to either party is not <coughs> helping us. What we must learn to do is unite and leverage our political okay. power. Does, unite does, and leverage does, our political does power. Does black America benefit from the current open border of Joe Biden? No. Black America is suffering. But you don't care. All of Why America don't you suffering. care? All of America oh, is suffering. Oh, I agree. But black All of America, America is suffering. suffering a unique harm because they that the but resources. you talk like that because you want to set black Americans against the immigrants, no. immigrants against no. us, make us fight each I other want, and not pay attention I to you. I want America to have a, a reformed border system and a controlled border with a wall that's keeping the monsters at bay but letting law-abiding citizens in. You got more Americans committing crimes in this country than immigrants.